sound like a bitch. <laughs> I 1000% agree with Holly here. Um, I, okay, so I looked on, on Cyborg's Twitter and she's basically, you know, she's, you know, she's celebrating that she's getting tested a lot and that she's passing. Hey, great, good. We're all glad to hear that. But um, I love the fact that Holly pointed out, you know, she never needed an applause for passing her tests. Like, I, I truly believe that Holly has always been a clean athlete. Um, having competed against her myself, she's a very strong woman, but not by any means that I feel like any of it was, you know, derived from anything other than hard, hard work. Um, I think Holly's one of the hardest workers that, uh, we've ever seen. So, uh, you know, Cyborg was crying, you know, hey, I'm getting tested. Uh, this is my third time this month. I want to make sure that, you know, my potential future opponent alluding to Holly, um, is getting tested just as much. I really feel like that's the wrong angle for Cyborg to take because, the reason that Cyborg is getting tested so much is because of the mishaps that she's had before. Um, you know, she's going to have to cover more ground in proving herself as opposed to someone who has never had any suspensions or mishaps or even questions, you know, pertaining to her fair play in the game. So... Um, you know, to cry to make sure that someone else is getting tested as much really isn't fair. You know, I, I think that Holly, she's passed every single one of her tests. She's actually, you know, made a very valid point. She's been tested more times right now um, than Cyborg has. So it's a bit of a silly argument for Cyborg. Hey, I'm glad she's passing her tests. I'm, I'm all pro her, you know, pu putting it out there and saying, hey, this is my third test. Just so you guys know, I'm, I'm passing. Great. We're glad to hear it. But don't go and, you know, point the finger at Holly and say, well, she needs to be tested just as much as me. Like, hey, worry about yourself. Pass your tests. Do your training. Let's, you know, hopefully this fight comes together. But, you know, to, to sort of attack Holly's integrity, which is kind of the way that I would see that, um, I don't think is the right approach for Cyborg at all. And, uh, you know, I don't I don't blame Holly for, for wanting to uh, voice her opinion. I, I, I agree with her. First off, Tony, you know, great performance, but to say Connor's only talk anymore is beyond the fact, right? Because he has backed it up on a number of occasions before the argument that he was talking his way into title fights and all this. Okay, but now you've beaten Aldo, the, the, the longest reigning featherweight champ of all time. You went up to 155 and knocked Eddie Alvarez out in, in, in two rounds and became a two division champion. So it's not all talk anymore. Right. I believe now the fight will happen. I was wrong when I said it was going to be Diaz McGregor. I believe now Tony has gained Connor's attention, and I believe these two men will fight and unify those titles. Now, you got to be careful because what you ask for at times isn't necessarily what's best for you. Right, and listen, I, you know, I, I talked about this before as well. I thought Nate Diaz and, and Connor McGregor, that's the bigger money fight. But as far as the fight that should happen, it's Tony Ferguson. I yeah. mean, the, the guy has done everything to deserve this next shot. Uh, I think it's a fight that makes a lot of sense. I think it's going to be an exciting fight. Um, and I think for Connor, I think maybe to appease the fans a little bit, he needs to go out there and beat the guy who's done everything in that division. No one has done more than Tony Ferguson as of right now. He goes out and beats someone like Tony Ferguson, and he kind of quiets everybody up. You know, at first I was saying there's no way Connor fights Tony. It's too dangerous. Right. But I think he may have seen something in that fight. And he's like, okay, I'll do it now. There's a knockout out there for me. But I think they're going to have to be strategic adjustments on both sides for these guys to be successful because Connor can't get taken down over and over again. Right. And Tony can't take left hand.